I was to tell you that I was sitting in a replica of the world's first car, imagine for a moment what it might look like. I'm probably thinking of um, Daimler or Benz and maybe 125 years ago, but in actual fact, it's a lot older than that. This is the world's first car that actually worked and it was built in 1769 in France. It's a steam powered vehicle. It has power steering. It's left or right hand drive. It's a tricycle indeed. It weighs three tons. It does three kilometers an hour. It'll run for about an hour. Uh, this is a complete perfect replica with just two changes. The changes have been made in the name of safety so that it can be operated safely. One of them is that it now has brakes inside each of the three wheels. The original car did not and the original car apparently in 1769 had the world's first motoring accident because of its lack of brakes. The other major change is that there's now a pressure gauge on the boiler so that it doesn't blow up. But this is it. The amount of unsprung weight, three tonnes. Remarkable that it actually worked. Remarkable that it, it predates Napoleon. Just a remarkable, miraculous piece of engineering because it essentially doubles the history of motorised transport. The reason it was built was by a military engineer with a view to pulling cannons for the French military who were state-of-the-art fighting force at that point in time and were investing heavily in making sure that they stayed that way. The tyres, well, they weren't made of rubber, they were made of steel. The, uh, the chassis appears to be oak, held together by large lumps of iron, which accounts for its considerable weight. If you look underneath the pistons, you'll see that you can actually see the bottom of the piston because it's an external combustion engine as opposed to an internal combustion engine. Oh, and here's the toolkit.